There are a lot of mining bots for Minecraft. They usually aren't that smart. Some people might even say they're kind of dumb. I made my own a few months ago, and it also wasn't very good. Which is why I recently decided to upgrade my bot. My main goal here is to make the bot smarter. And by that I mean I don't want to have to constantly check up on the bot. Or supply it with tools, or supply it with food. It should be able to figure out all that stuff on its own. I just want a bot that I can tell to mine, and it does it. So, first of all, I've made it so you can have multiple bots. You can have as many as you want, as long as your computer can handle it, and the number has to be a positive integer. Try as I might, I wasn't able to support negative or half bots. Ideally, the bots could work together to complete a task, but I don't know how to make that work yet, so I'm not going to do that. But they still look really cool, and I think that's what's really important. Even though they can't work together, each bot can still be controlled individually and mine its own. To make this work, I've made a few changes to how you command the bots. As before, you can issue a command to the bots by typing a message in chat. And the task will be sent to one of the bots that aren't already doing something. If all the bots are busy, the task will be queued and sent to the next available bot. If you want to send a task to a specific bot, you can do it by typing at followed by the bot's name. For example, if you want to send a task to a bot named Bob, you would type at Bob followed by the task. Each bot also has a personal queue in case you send a task when it's busy. Tasks in the personal queue take priority over tasks in the global queue. There's now a settings file that allows you to easily change the number of bots and which players can control them. If you can think of some stuff that would be useful to add into the settings file, I'd love to hear about it. Of course, just throwing more bots at a problem isn't going to solve everything. To really solve the problem of relying on players, we need to make the bots smarter. To do this, we can make one important change to the bot's code. When the bot is trying to get an item, iron for example, it looks at what items it needs in order to get that item. Whether it's through mining, crafting or smelting, it looks at the items it needs. If it doesn't have one of the items, it'll try to get it. So, for example, if you want it to get some diamonds, it will need an iron pickaxe. If it doesn't have an iron pickaxe, it'll try to get one. To get an iron pickaxe, it'll need iron ore and sticks. If it doesn't have any iron ore or sticks, it'll try to get some. And so on. Obviously, this isn't going to work for all items, but I think it's a good start. Also, it doesn't get, like, crafting ingredients if it can just mine them, since that would be kind of pointless. Here's an actual example. This bot doesn't have any items, and I've told it to get some diamonds. I'm sure you can figure out what it's doing, so while it's doing that, I'm going to talk a little bit about pathfinding. In case you don't know what pathfinding is, it's the process of finding a path from one point to another, and it's how the bot finds its way around the world. I'm not going to explain how it works, because that'd probably work better in its own video. Some important things to note about the pathfinding in this case. I reused the pathfinding code from my image printing bot with a few changes. It can only move in cardinal directions, so it can't move diagonally in a single step. There's also a bunch of other stuff that needs to be added, which I'll probably do eventually. If you know anything about Minecraft bots, and Mineflayer bots specifically, you might suggest that I use the Mineflayer Pathfinder plugin, or some other pre-made pathfinding code. And I agree that that would probably work a lot better than my own solution, and it would be less work. But in this case, I don't mind putting in more work if it means learning something interesting. Even if that means a mining bot that only works properly in a controlled environment. Also, I forgot to mention, the bots can dig quarries now too. I know somebody was asking about that in the comments.
Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the bot. I've been really busy lately, so I'm once again apologizing for not uploading in over a month. I'm working on some interesting stuff that I want to make videos about, but it might take a while. Consider giving the video a like, and subscribe if you haven't already.